this certainly comes as welcome news to the Muslim community in Queens, who this morning is grieving the loss of their imam and another man. Police sources are telling us this morning that a 35-year-old man is now in police custody and being questioned in connection with their death. At one point, he was here at the 75th Precinct in East New York this morning. This is a sketch of the uh, person that police had been looking for since Saturday in Ozone Park. We're told he was seen leaving the scene there in a Chevy Trailblazer. Surveillance video shows a suspect running up behind 55-year-old Imam Molama Akanji and 64-year-old Thara Udin, leaving the mosque around 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. The men were both shot in the back of the head as they walked near the corner of Liberty Avenue and 79th Street in Ozone Park. The trailblazer was marked as suspicious after police saw it drive past the scene. Well, last night here in Brooklyn, they got a report that the same vehicle may have struck a biker. And when they approached the vehicle, we're told that the man inside rammed a police car. They were able to take him into custody. Last night, the Muslim community held a vigil for their leader and the other man killed. They are now calling this an attack on Muslims. That's a hate crime. hate crime. And we want justice. We demand justice now. These two innocent men were killed from the back at blank point. You know, just, just killed them to death. This is very unfair. So police are not yet calling this a hate crime. We have just learned from sources that they are questioning a 35-year-old man in connection with these two deaths. Charges have not yet been filed. We're live in East New York this morning. I'm Diana Rocco, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.